Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here. How you guys doing? As you can see, I am now using Bandicam instead of Hypercam uh, for videos similar to this. Uh, Hypercam was acting really weird for me. Uh, it like, Whenever I would try to record the uh, audio and the video at the same time, uh, the audio, which I always use, you know, that's me talking, uh, the audio would always be normal speed, but the video in the background would be sped up to God knows what, <laughs> okay? Like, it was literally seriously sped up. It was like three times the speed of what my voice was actually going at. So, as you can see, I'm using Bandicam. It's very obvious that I'm using it because the stupid watermark is at the top of the screen. I heard that you have to buy Bandicam to get rid of the watermark and record longer than 10-minute videos, which really freaking sucks. Um... So hopefully I can work that out somehow. Um, I'd rather not pay for this, um, but if I have to, I guess I will. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, that's the story of all that and why I'm using Bandicam now and not Hypercam. So anyways, on to the video. Uh, as you can see, I've got the Intel Xeon processor sitting in front of me right now on the screen. Uh, the Intel Xeon E3 Dash 1240v3. Uh, that is a mouthful. That's why I almost messed up when saying it. Um, as you may have noticed, the title of the video is probably going to be something funny along the lines of uh, why buy an i7 when you can buy a Xeon or something like that. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is, and I'm hoping people that are looking into buying a i7 really watch this video. Um, if you're looking to do video editing and you don't really care about overclocking, or if you want an i7 but again you just don't care about overclocking that much, the Xeons are the perfect answer for that. And, which actually, especially the 1240v3 that's sitting in front of me right now, say for example, if you were looking uh, at the i7-4770, the one that isn't overclockable in the first place. This, in my opinion, is a waste of money. Why is this a waste of money, you may ask? Well, if you're going to be buying a GPU with this thing, it is more... Like, if you're going to buy a GPU with this, this is definitely a waste of money. You are paying so much more money for this than this. And it's not a crap ton more, but it, you could definitely be saving some money. As you can see, this is $273. The i7, when it first came out, was 312 Now, I could be wrong. I don't know prices as of right now, but I do know for a fact that the i7-4770 is still over $300 for a fact. Um, you may be able to find it cheaper, most likely at Micro Center, if you're one of those lucky bastards that have one, uh, near you, then yes, you can obviously find it cheaper at Micro Center, along with probably this Xeon, though, which defeats the purpose, though, uh, which defeats the point, actually, and you're still, and you can still be saving money by buying the Xeon, but anyways, so, this is $273. Now, why am I showing you a Xeon? They're just workstation and server CPUs, right? Well... Here I'm going to show you the specifications. I'm going to go slowly through these. Alright, so these are the essentials of the 1240 uh, Xeon V3. Here's everything right here. You can pause the screen. Now here is the i7. You can again pause the screen of the essentials. Now I'm going to move down to memory specifications. You can pause the screen. Going down to the memory specifications. Pause the screen. Whenever I, uh, you know, again, this is all the the Xeon stuff right here. This is how you can tell it's mainly the Xeon. The Xeon is cheaper than the i7 because the i7 has an integrated graphics unit inside of it. The Xeon does not. It's, as you can see, it says no processor graphics. However, when you go to the i7, there's a big list of graphics stuff here. That is because it has a built-in, you know, uh, graphics unit. The Xeon does not. Uh, here you have your expansion options, uh, your package specifications, and your advanced technologies all sitting right here for the Xeon. And I'm going to scroll down more further to the Intel data protection, which all of these are yeses for the Xeon. And moving on, as you can see for the i7, everything is pretty much exactly the same. You got a whole list of yeses here. All the technology is generally the same. There's little to no difference. Why am I bringing this up? Again, if you're looking to not overclock and you're going to be buying a graphics card for your computer, 
and you know it, you want an i7 but you don't want to pay that i7 money and you want to pay closer to an i5 this technically right here is closer to an i7 still the uh 1240 v3 the only reason that this gp or this cpu is uh 200 and roughly 273 dollars which i'm pretty sure it's 260 something dollars now uh depending on where you're looking the only reason it's that expensive is because of the clock speeds if you look at the uh the e3 uh xeon that is the uh 1230 v3 edition or version uh this is 3.3 gigahertz and 3.7 gigahertz the Xeon uh, 1240 is 3.4 gigahertz and a turbo of 3.8. Your standard i7 is uh, 3.4 to 3.9. I honestly don't know why it's not 3.4 and 3.8 like the. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. A little burp. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's not. Uh, you know, as you can see from right here, I'm swapping back and forth. You know. The only thing that changes between the, the Xeon and the i7 is the clock speeds. And when I swap back from the Xeon 1240 to the uh, 30, again, it's just clock speeds. But if you don't want to spend if you don't want to spend two hundred and seventy three dollars or two hundred and sixty something dollars, then the E3 1230 is perfect for you because it's only two hundred and fifty dollars. Again, if you're looking for an i7 then but you don't want to pay that i7 price the Xeon is perfect for you if you're just looking into gaming just buy an i5 just buy an i5 you don't need an i7 for gaming an i7 has the same amount of power for gaming as an i5 does the i7 solely exists just so you can do gaming and editing so if you are looking into an editing machine, you really want that i7, you're going to be buying a GPU already. You don't want that stupid integrated GPU that's in the the regular i7. Then by all means, just buy the 1240 Xeon or the 1230 Xeon and you will be saving about up to $50 if not more in money uh depending on which version of the Xeon you get re 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 ah, Jesus Christ whether it be the 1230 or the 1240 anyways so i hope you enjoyed the video and maybe i hopefully saved you some money those of you that have already bought in the uh you know the regular i7 i apologize if you have and uh uh, it, you know, I mean, you already got it anyways, you might as well not return it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and for further proof, uh, here we have CPU Boss. Uh, the i7 and the uh, Xeon are ridiculously close next to each other. Their performance is ridiculously close. As a matter of fact, if you actually look at the 1240 Xeon, it actually is slowly... It's not slowly, it's sort of beating... The i the standard i7 that is not overclockable, which is pretty amazing for that price that it is at. Which actually, if you look right here, it also says that it has br uh, better performance per dollar and better performance per watt, uh, and better pass mark score. Which is uh, you know if you're looking into that, then that's definitely something uh, that you want to see. Again, once again, this i7 right here. The only difference between the Xeon and the i7 is that here we go. That is really bad. But anyways, <laughs> here we go. As you can see, it has a built-in GPU. That's literally it. Um, I don't honestly know why it's talking about overclocks, because maybe you can overclock this i7, who knows. Uh, but not by a lot, obviously, since it's the non-K version. But yeah, again, here's some more benchmarks for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Maybe I hopefully saved you some money. And uh, consider buying this e uh, the Xeon. The Xeon works with LGA 1150 motherboards, the same as the i7s, i5s, and i3s do. So, hopefully, again, I saved you some money by you considering to buy this Xeon instead of the i7. And, uh, yeah, uh, have a good day. And uh, be sure to, if, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, stay sexy, guys. Peace.